appreciate losing. You know, uh, it's just it's one of those things. Michael, how did you feel physically and mentally when you got you? I kind of knew that was it. It was the end. I, physically, I was tired. Not not necessarily my arm. I was just tired. You know, uh, it was a hot day. Three days rest is, is tough. Um, you guys probably don't know notices, but Coach Tanner notices. But when I get on three days rest, I don't really know where the ball is going when I drop down sidearm. So that's why I threw over the top to some lefties. But you just try to keep going out there and, and getting outs and counting outs. And um, you know, I missed a double play ball that, that could have could have got us out of that inning and maybe maybe extended a little bit more. Did you keep thinking that like, at some point the offense was going to get you? Couple of runs, a little breathing. You know, I don't, I don't ever really think about what they're going to do. You know, I have complete faith in in them. I have all you. You know, they've bailed me out a couple times when I've been when I've been in position to get the L. So, uh, you know, we, we were battling up out there at the plate, grinding out at bats. We just couldn't get anything going, and that's just that's baseball some days. Talk about the ride, the, the three-year ride you've been on, especially a starter here two years ago, more than you could have ever dreamed of. Yeah, it's been a great four years. Uh, I can't thank Coach Tanner enough for uh, recruiting me and for the opportunity to be a South Carolina Gamecock. I can't thank him enough for two years to this exact date uh, when I threw against Clemson. Um, for giving me that opportunity, it's just been wonderful. Um, it's, it's been a great four years. At all surprising to you? A little bit. A little bit beyond what you could believe. I mean, you don't like I, you know. I said before, earlier, I, I don't, I don't think you can imagine, you know, something that we've we've gone through, the things that that we've gone through on this team. Uh, it's been, it's been special, and I, I don't know if you can imagine that. You know, you always expect greatness from yourself and from from a collective group, but uh, you know, to imagine what we've been through, it's. Uh, you know, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. We've, we've had a lot of fun. Michael, 20, 30 years down the road, when people reflect on your career as a game clock and on you, what would you like them to remember you as or remember you for? Um, you know, I just want them to remember me as a guy that went out there and, and did the right thing. Went out there and competed every inning, um, every pitch, and, and did the right thing and, and had fun while I was doing it. Michael, how would you describe how your, your experience in South Carolina has prepared you for pro ball? I don't know. If you've thought about it much, but with, with all that you've accomplished academically, and and just you know, think back to when you came in as a freshman and how you've grown and the things that you value, they're preparing you for this next step. Well, you know, I've learned a lot about pitching from uh, Coach Calvi, Coach Myers, uh, just just the situations I've been in as a pitcher. As uh, you know, I'm sure I'm sure it, it's, it'll be great preparation for pro ball. You know, I haven't really thought about <coughs> professional baseball at all since draft day. But when you think that when even you as a person, when you came in as a freshman, what's been the biggest personal growth you've had and kind of the maturity? Well, I for think you? the personal growth really is realizing that this is a baseball game. It's it's uh, it's not life, you know, and, and it's not uh, this isn't life or death. You know, there's, there's people that are struggling with other things. Uh, for example, when we were at the children's hospital, some of the guys got to meet a, a baby, Knox, and battling with cancer, and you know. You see those type of things with the Baylor Teal story uh, from two years ago. That's, that still really inspires all of us. And Charlie Peter, Peters, our bat boy, those type of stories, um, they make you realize that this is a baseball game. You know, this isn't life or death. When, when we walk off this field, when we walk out of this stadium, it's, uh, you know, that's it. That's, that's the ball game. And we're not going to take anything home with us and let it affect uh, our personal lives outside of this. Michael, how tough was it for you to come out of the game tonight? Uh, it was tough. You know, I was I was uh, really frustrated that I missed my double play ball. I mean, <laughs> that's that's what uh, you know Griner said to me. He said, "Hey, get the, get this double play ball, and that way you're still in the game." And I I got the ground ball, just didn't make the play. What's Omaha gonna mean to you? Uh, you know, this this place is wonderful. I feel like it's got the best food. <laughs> Um, I don't know. There's a lot of great memories, and, and those those memories aren't necessarily all on the field. It's it's the stupid bus rides that we have back after wins. Um, it's the dumb stuff that we do in the hotel. It's uh, having fun at the casino, uh, going to the Drover, 
I mean, uh, it, it's just, it's a wonderful place, you know, it's a wonderful venue. Uh, I'm glad that, you know, I'm just glad the fans are, uh, adopt this College World Series. They really, I mean, Omaha loves this, loves this event, and rightfully so. So, it's, it's, I think it's one of the best in sports. Do you remember the two national titles, or does this stick with you a little more because of the way it is? I mean, I don't know. I think you remember everything. You, you kind of, you just remember, I mean, three years in Omaha, you, you're going to remember the results at the end. But, uh, you know, I won't remember every game or every out. Uh, I'll just remember, you know, like I said, some of, some of the memories on the field and some of the memories off the field. What was that walk for you like when you left the game and you went to the dugout and the fans gave you that nice ovation? It was tough. Uh, it was tough. You know, I, I knew that that's probably the last time I, I'd walk off that mound, walk off uh, that mound in, in a Carolina baseball uniform. And, uh, you know, it's just tough. And also I was still kind of frustrated that I dropped that ball. When you uh, look back at your career, I mean, you know, when do you start reminiscing? You know, when you first came in as a freshman and then you had your coming out party here against Clemson. I mean, you know, at what point do you start looking back and, Sort of put this on the shelf and think overall, you know, about your experiences here. I don't know. When I do, I'll let you know. Okay. Anything else for Michael? Michael, you've kind of defined this era in a lot of ways.